Rasmussen trainee Corbin Gold, who had won three of four lifetime starts, two stakes wins, and also the impressive maiden winner Glitter Gem there, 6-1, to one, with Jockey Pat Day in the saddle for Hal Wiggins. 13 had gone from this race on to the Breeders' Cup, won it, won it, gilded time back in 92. Here's the look back at the race with the call from John G. Dooley. Away and running in the Arlington, Washington Futurity. Cactus Ridge, a bit of a bubble coming out to the starting gate. Corbin Gold comes out fast along with Cactus Ridge as they run to the first furlong. Glitter Gem is next in third. Orphan Brigade on the outside. Texas Deputy, finally, Night Charger last to the five as they meet up now at the main track. And here's Cactus Ridge sent out toward the front by Eddie Martin, Jr. In the opening quarter, 23 seconds left. One to five, Cactus Ridge in front of Corbin Gold. Corbin Gold and Corey Lannery holds this one just outside of Cactus Ridge's flank. Two clear then of Glitter Jam and Pat Day next in third. Toward the rail is Texas Deputy, a length in front of Longshot Orphan Brigade and four more to Night Charger remaining last of all. Half went in 45 and three, start to the far turn. Cactus Ridge, Corbin Gold still running one, two, with three furlongs to go in the 69th running. Then on the outside is Glitter Gem. Within reach of these leaders as they come toward the quarter pole. Texas Deputy toward the rail, Orphan Brigade. Night Charger is last to make the top of the Arlington Park stretch. They come past the quarter pole. Three quarters, one, ten, and two. They turn for home. Cactus Ridge in front. Down toward the final furlong. Cactus Ridge holding on to the lead now. In front by three. Glitter Gem, Corbin Gold, Texas Deputy toward the rail. They're coming inside the final half of Furlong. Cactus Ridge, it is Cactus Ridge, the son of Hennessy, heads from Arlington undefeated. How do you like him now? He bobbled at the start, but still came on to set a stakes record of 135.44 for the mile. Cactus Ridge for trainer Brett Calhoun going on now to Santa Anita, unbeaten four for four. Set a pressured pace, but he finished with good energy, and Cactus Ridge is for real now with four starts, four wins for his owner, breeder, Dream Walkin' Farms, which is owned by country singer Toby Keith. The country music entertainer of the year, he sold over five million albums in the last two years. He turned down a seven-figure offer for this horse just a few weeks ago. 